By the way, switching subjects, we lost a guy I used to interview on my old radio show, Wes Craven. What, what did he mean to you as a kid growing up? You know, Wes Craven was one of those names that as you got older, his films grew with you. So when I was a kid, it was before VCRs. So the films like Last House on the Left was the, was the film that your friend's older brother saw. So you'd have them going, oh, that's a movie. And they take the girl and they're pulling her entrails out. And I remember when I finally saw it, it actually lived up to the descriptions. It was so disturbing. Um, but Nightmare on Elm Street was a film that traumatized me. I remember I, I saw it on a VCR and I had to pause it. And I think we played Clue for like six hours just to like cleanse ourselves of Elm Street, and then I had to finish it during the day. I was actually too scared to watch the movie. Um, and then in the 90s, Scream brought back horror. So to, just to think of someone who has not only just had three massive influential horror films, but in three different decades, it's, it's insane. Um, when I made my first film, Cabin Fever, I made it for a very low budget, and I didn't have money for music, like to put songs. So I said, oh, I want Van Halen. They're like, sure, that'll be $300,000. And you're like, okay, I have $1,500 for six songs. And I went to a screening of Last House on the Left, and it has this kind of Harry Nilsson folky music done by David Alexander Hess. And I remember thinking like, God, this is 1972 and this is 2002. You couldn't use this music in a movie today. And I thought, that's it, I'm, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna track down that music. And so I took six songs from Last House on the Left, and I got the guy who plays the killer who sings these songs. It was his kids did a cover for the end credits. It was something super, super geeky. <laughs> and at the very first screening, Quentin Tarantino came, and he saw he heard the Last House on the Left music and was like, oh my God, this guy's the real deal. And I met Wes, and I was like, uh, hi, nice to meet you. Sorry I stole six songs from your movie. <laughs> and he, was, he couldn't have been sweeter about it. Hey guys, Larry here. Thanks for watching me. Be sure to check out some of my other favorite Larry King Now moments right here and tune in to new episodes Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays on demand on Aura TV and Hulu.